word. Welcome to another episode of the B Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinion on second page news. No, on interesting articles. <laughs> I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with CJ. Hello. Welcome back, mate. Thank you. And I'm here with Maxi. Hello. So we're all here, except for Alex, Xander. Yeah, he's away this week. And uh, Emma, hit Take us with your best shot. First off, apologies for my red face. I either am sunburnt or I have an allergy to our new puppy. But I'm like red all over. So in case people are like, why is she red? No, no one's That's wondering why. that. Yeah. I, I, I just thought you were blushing. <laughs> the, the, the four people that watch the YouTube channel is not wondering. Well, now they know, just in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my uh, my stepdad watched the YouTube oh, one of the YouTube videos. Oh no way! <laughs> so there's five people. Sure. Get it right. <laughs> he just came out randomly. We we have like a family WhatsApp group chat thing, and he said, "Yeah, uh, yes, Maxie, I do remember when you were trying to when you were meant to be asleep, but you kept calling down, claiming you needed to poo just to have like more time awake." <laughs> What? I don't know what article he was listening to. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> that must be one Which of the early article? ones. I don't remember that. No, but, we, we, but I don't think I actually said it in the podcast. I think he just took a subject <laughs> relevant to it. I'm not sure what he was watching. To be honest. I was like, where did you hear that? He was like, on YouTube. I was like, oh, you're one of our five listeners. And then from then he started trying to recommend loads of topics we could talk about to get more traction. That's good. <laughs> nice. That's, good. That's really good. That's good. <laughs> Tell him to, yeah, submit one. Um, and anyone else, submit one. That's great. Send us a message. Um, so the first um, article this week yeah. is about those parking rangers. I hate those guys. I used to love them back in the 90s. I hated those guys. Parking rangers. Do they call them parking rangers in England? Uh, oh, no one got the joke? Parking range? Okay, never mind. What? What was the joke? Power Rangers. Never uh, mind. Okay, okay, yeah. It was such a bad joke. Everyone I didn't even get it. Like, everyone, <laughs> I don't think that okay. counts as a joke. <laughs> yeah. When you have to explain the joke, it's no longer a joke. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Like, hey, guys, wait, hey guys I got this Can mad joke. Can you say the joke again? What did you say? Hey, hey, guys. I got this mad joke. So Emma said parking ranges. And I said, I yeah. used to love that show in the 90s. And everyone said, what? Oh, what? <laughs> and I just ignored him like, that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to acknowledge it. That's how bad it was. Oh, my goodness. Well, this When one... you say parking rangers, are you talking about ticket inspectors? Yes. Or yes. That's not ticket the inspectors, one. Um, are they... Parking inspectors. Do you know they're parking actually hiring for... Yeah, right parking now? inspectors. Yeah. So in Australia, they call them rangers. They're that's a much cooler name. Rangers? Yeah. It, it, I thought that. Yeah. that when they came here, I was like, oh, okay. And their pay's actually quite decent. You, it would have to be. Yeah, because yeah, you get spat on and I you know. get sworn at. And, yeah. and Well, let's have a look at this video okay. because... Are you allowed to spit back? Well, no. no. Oh, Because <laughs> you lose your job. <laughs> I can't do it. So this is a video <laughs> of a guy walking in Sydney City and spots a parking ranger. What colour was it? ready? <laughs> 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 uh, is that the right sound? <laughs> What's that sound where you go? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, ready? Look at this pig. Sydney City Council still issuing tickets. The world's falling apart. And this pig is still giving tickets out. Look at this. The world is falling apart and he's still giving tickets. What a wit. Sydney City Council. Absolute Go home, you The world's falling apart. People have got no money. And you're still giving out tickets? You You dirty pig. Sydney City Council. Ranger, have a look. Have a look. People are starving in the streets. And these f***ing rednecks still f***ing giving out tickets. No need for personal You attacks. utter a Get on your f***ing bike and go home. You're a pig. You are an utter pig. You are a pig, mate. Your face is going to get splattered all over the... Sydney City Council has no sympathy. Zero sympathy for anybody. People are going to be starving in the streets. People are dying all over the world. And this is giving out tickets. What a pig. Yeah, keep working, mate. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, trying to work before you keep be walking. freaking... Go home. Mixed messages now. Don't <laughs> 
instead of issuing tickets randomly to people. Don't you randomly? have something else to do? Aren't they parked Don't illegal? you have anything else to do? Aren't they illegal? No, that's his job. <laughs> his job is to book people who are illegally parked. <laughs> yeah. So. so maybe if that guy had an occupation, he wouldn't be chasing around a guy doing his job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I love I love what your passion. Think? But CJ, if you were getting the fine. If I was getting the fine, I'm saying the same thing. You pig! <laughs> you pig! You, you pig! pig. There's pig. people dying around the world and you're giving me a freaking ticket? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> but seriously yeah I'd be fucking swearing at him <laughs> would you yeah I've have sw- you ever I, caught a parking yeah, I, ranger I've kind of I've, I had a go at one of them mm. tell us well me and Gary <laughs> 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 no nah, it was just me <laughs> I had parked I was unloading some stuff for work so yeah. I parked in the loading zone yeah you know I've got 10 minutes I was like maybe 15 what, what car did you have a van Oh, then you got 10 minutes. Yes, but I was over 15 15. Oh, okay. So he was writing me a ticket as I was about to leave. Yeah. So I'm about to go. He goes, I restarted. And I just went off at him. Yeah. Yeah. Where did that get you? Absolutely nowhere. (laughs) 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 But I was thinking to myself, if I hit this guy, I'm probably going to get charged for a lot more than just the parking ticket. Yes, Yes, 100%. 100%. Didn't you hear that um, ranger? He was calling his um, backup. <laughs> other ranger. He was calling for backup. <laughs> I need blue. Calling... <laughs> this joke. It's catching on. <laughs> um, ranger Society, please come in. <laughs> I, I actually need the Power Rangers right now. I've got some strange uh, Middle Eastern bloke chasing me around. Is he? Um, he, he really. <sighs> Look, I feel bad for the, the, the ranger. ranger. Yeah. It's a shit of a job. Oh, it is. Well, it's a shit number of a job. one, apparently he wasn't even given a ticket <laughs> at the time. He was just walking <laughs> he was, around. <laughs> he was just speaking to a guy was he saying. He on shift. He was on, oh, shift, he was on shift. But he was okay. telling the guy at the time, he was telling someone, oh, it's probably best you get going now type thing. Oh, what a nice um, Oh, there you go. And then this guy is literally just approached him, not just approach him, then starts following him. Yeah. Berating him like that's not called for. So, so do, do you know what's wrong with this now? I don't particularly like that job at all. No, no but, but the, the Rangers used to be protected by the police. If you actually assaulted a Ranger, you'd be charged like you hit a police officer. Not anymore. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, which I think is disgusting because like I I've gone off at them. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But not to that degree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've just said my piece. I've called them when I had to call them. Yeah. And I went in my car and left. And now you're going to apply for the job. Them. <laughs> and I in thought quotes. about applying for the job. Who, who <laughs> applies for this job, I want to know. Because everybody knows that everybody hates parking. Okay, do you know yeah. how much they get? I think it's um, plus bonuses, plus isn't it? Plus bonuses? Yeah. Like, like they're talking about 90 plus bonuses. But I didn't every know day. it was that high. I thought it was like um, 70,000 plus bonuses. Okay. So I was thinking, I want to do it. Like, like seriously. So, some, like, oh, you actually thought you wanted to? Yeah. 90,000? Yeah, fine. So yeah, but the bump, bump problem is he start chasing me and I'll start chasing him. I end up carrying the buttons and being the crap out of it. The thing like, is, I don't need no backup. I feel like I'd get 90,000 and no bonuses. Because you wouldn't give them out. That's the problem. Yeah, but there's KPIs, Wouldn't Dev. You, yeah, what are you going to do now? I'll go, I'll... Just book my car. Just right. be crap. Book your car? <laughs> just be crap for ages. Yeah. And know. then leave. I, know, I think it was like 86 or 88. It's a lot of money. Yeah, plus bonuses. I was like... Okay. Yeah, but it's like there's certain Damn. jobs where you're just like... But do you really do you really want to do that job? But you're going to be hated. You are going to be hated. Every day you go to work, you're going you, to be you're gonna, you have to prep. It's like, I can do that, this. That's what I hang out on Piers. But do you think they get, do you think they get sick every single day they go to work? Yes. yes. Every single day. I've had Surely really, at least once. I've had one of them ask me for a cigarette lighter when I smoked. Mm. And I said, no, you've given me a ticket, you asshole. Is that what you said? Yeah. And what did, did he, he say? Did he, had did he, he given you a ticket? No, he hadn't. But like, did, you <laughs> give him a, did you give him a lighter? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? I was like, I'm smoking. I might not have to blow your lighter. I go, fuck it. No. Your kind giver gave me a ticket. Your kind. <laughs> your kind. <laughs> your kind. <laughs> you know what I noticed when I first started seeing these park rangers coming into the city? They were small. Now I see them. They're like six foot Security six. Security guard They're, they're like really big blokes, yeah. some of these people. Yeah, because, mate. Like the guy that I went off at was smaller than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I was looking down on him and I was like st- staunching over him. 
Well, the yeah. girls don't aren't allowed to go alone, are they? No. no. They go in as a pair. No, they go in pairs all the time now. But that's um the same as um how about transit police? They get abused a lot as well. Yeah, I also looked at that job as well. That's a that's a that's a full on job. Do you yeah. know what transit police are, Maxie? They the uh, is it on trains and buses and that? Oh. If you don't have a ticket. Yeah. 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 Are they actually police? Dude, is there a bird? They call them transit police. Or am I hearing stuff? Yeah, I'm hearing a bird as well. Oh, cool. It's not just me. I think that's a cage. Oh, there's a bird at my end. Oh, yeah. there's a bird at your end. Oh, okay. Outside that's the... what a bird from Norway sounds like. <laughs> oh, Norwegian bird. <laughs> we call him... <laughs> probably doesn't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you say Norwegian bird in Norwegian? <laughs> Norsk fulg. Oh. Yeah. Norsk fun. Um, <laughs> fun or full? Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a shitty job. What parking the, ranger? Parking parking yeah. ranger. Yeah, I just that's what I mean. Like, do you scroll through the job sites and go, oh, parking but, ranger? But saying that, have you ever been? Have you ever been abused at work? Have you ever like had to deal yes. with a customer? Yeah. How did you? How did you handle that? I stood up and then he pressed the lift button. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? He was yelling at me from across the hallway. Yeah. So I stood up. Yeah. And next thing he started pressing ground. <laughs> uh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Everything gets solved one way or another. I just got up and what? <laughs> Maxi, uh, have you been uh, abused? I, I, I went from very polite to Westy quickly. <laughs> what, what, mate? <laughs> what, what, mate? What? <laughs> what, how about you, Maxi? How did you deal with um your uh, abuse? I was abused when I was about 16, no, 17, I think, working in McDonald's. Yeah. Because I got an order wrong. Mate, next time get my Big Mac, Big Mac and you'll be fine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but well, the thing is, I didn't get the order wrong. Someone else got the order wrong because I'm the person on the headset, right? Like right. in the oh. drive through So he comes, he comes to the, first he comes to the like speaker. So he's on the other side of the speaker. And then I'm like, hi, can I take your order, please? And he goes, I want to come to the window. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> you can order here if you want to. And I, like, no, I want to come to the window. So straight away, I knew he's like, up, like he wants to complain about something. I was like, okay, come. I say, go around to the, because I'm in the first window, right? Yeah. And then there's a second window, which is where all the managers sit. So I'm like, okay, just go around to the second window. One minute warning. And then, and then obviously the problem is there's cars that line up all the way through, right? So he, yeah. I asked him to go to the second window. But he stops in front of the first window because he's got nowhere to go. Yeah. And then I have the window <laughs> closed at this point and then he starts shouting. I'm like, look, so there's two of us there. One's taking the money and I'm the one doing the talking. So I look at him and I say, do you think I should open the window? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I think it's your job to open the window. So I open the window. I'm like, hey, so how can I help? And then he's like, <laughs> he shows me a burger. He goes, look at this. I'm like, yes <laughs> but <laughs> okay what, what's what's wrong what, what's that wrong is kind a burger? Of thing? i was trying to be really helpful to be honest but he was like i was like what's what's wrong like uh if we if we'd done something wrong and he said yeah I, I can't remember what the burgers were but let's say i ordered a big mac and you gave me mc chicken uh and then he started saying he's allergic to something in that he goes what if i was allergic to something in this and bearing in mind i know the ingredients there's no ingredients in the burger he has which weren't in the other one so there's nothing in yeah. that burger unless he's allergic to chicken that he could be allergic to. Yeah. So I want to say, are you allergic to chicken? <laughs> but I don't think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, well, I'm like, I'm just super apologetic, and then that was it, really. I mean, it, it because I didn't give him anything back, it diffused the situation. And also, yeah. he probably yeah. dri- he, drove. There's an old man shouting at this young kid. Yeah, trying that's to do what his I was going to say. Uh, I think he felt a bit bad. Well, not bad, but he. He just backed down a bit and then he was like, I'm going to save this energy for the manager at the front. But the problem was our manager was about 18 years old as well. It was all just kids, basically. That's probably why he, probably why we got the order wrong in the first place. <laughs> no one really gave a shit. Oh, <laughs> how cool how do you deal with um, complaints, Ems? Like, how do you deal with irate? Like- at first, I'm like, I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm extra polite. And then they keep going and then I'm like rolling the eyes, mute. I put them on mute and then, you know, complain to the person next to me. Ugh. And then oh, I, and then if they start risk. going, if they start going, yeah, in case you don't press it. And then if they yeah. start going full on swearing and everything, I don't care. Like, I don't care if I'm in a call center, like that's not called for. And I'm just like, that's not called for. I'm sorry. And you, and if you swear again, I'll just hang up on you. That's the power of the call center. Y- yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they call back, say, 
I'm going to come there and shoot up the building. <laughs> yeah. And then they have to deal with me. <laughs> so, so, so I don't, I never dealt with customers directly. I usually shift it on to someone higher than me. I'm like, mate, I don't know. I don't know if I could answer your questions, I would. But that guy over there, he's pretty good at answering <laughs> your questions, right? So there's this guy in our company and he's about 55, 60. And this guy, this customer went up to him and started going, mate, did you turn off my power? And um, the 50, 60 year old goes, yeah, we did. Sorry, mate. And he goes, well, that's not accepted. He goes, you know what? You're right. You're totally right. And this guy started swearing even louder. And he started, to, my mate started agreeing with him even more. He goes, yeah, we should do something about it together. <laughs> right? what? To the point, what? the guy was like, yeah. And he was all exhausted because he got all his aggravation out. But my mate has like made this an art to be like, to be on their side to the point where the guy's like, yeah, let's go to CEO together. And my mate's like, yeah, I'll even, I'll drive you there. <laughs> and the guy's all, like, because he's got all the frustration out, he goes, when's the power going to come back on? And he goes, three o'clock this afternoon. He goes, oh, all right, see ya. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> Thinking that he won. That's brilliant. And my mate's just like, no, nah, done it again. And he'll walk away. No stress, nothing. Wow. So he just totally agrees with the guy. He goes, yeah, yep, you're right. Oh, you're totally right. I'm story. with you. Oh, wow. Yeah. It works every single time. Goodness. Uh. So, yeah, Parking Ranger, are we in agreement that, um, no, do, should he have been shouted at? Yes nah, or no? Nah. should have been. He's only, exactly. he's only doing his job. He is. I don't know if I'm getting he old. He kept very calm. a little bit more lenient. <laughs> no, he used to be in More empathetic? Yeah, probably. Mm. He kept really calm, actually. He did. He, like, he just walked away from the problem. I reckon he's um a black belt in um in karate. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, karate Karate And I reckon he was just walking away Because he didn't want to cause any pain to the bloke Oh he's like in his oh, head Oh, I oh, oh he was pain. trying to lure him into an alleyway oh. he could kick the shit out of him <laughs> Seafood and go, ranger And go Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> This is what you'll get <laughs> <laughs> why did, he put, a, why did he put a Chinese accent on? I don't on? know, man. <laughs> He's like Bruce Lee. You said karate, I thought Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> he you... was clearly Australian. Who's, the, who's the guy? Who's the guy that the American guy and he's got a beard? Um, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> I can't do oh, a, yeah. I can't do a Chuck Norris accent. <laughs> but uh... when I heard karate, I went Bruce Lee karate. <laughs> and then oh. you sounded best. You sounded just like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Okay, so my article for this week is basically um, a man come up with this genius solution for his dog when he has been put in quarantine um, because of the COVID-19. Um, essentially, he, he can't take his dogs for a walk anymore because he's he needs to be isolated to his house. So he ties the lead to a drone and then takes the drone out to walk his dog. What? So there's a video of this, this little pooch. It's a super cute little pooch walking down the mid, middle of the road, mind you. The like the middle not on the, the road. Oh, my <laughs> middle gosh. Of the road <laughs> with a drone <laughs> hovering above holding the lead. And the dog looks oh, happy as Larry. Like, he's just looks like he's having a great time. <laughs> Is that a pop- Pomeranian? Looks like a cross or... Look at him. What? How was the guy driving? That him? is... Yeah, what's the range? Yeah. It's two kilometers, is it? That is... Ten kilometers. So the video literally just shows the drone. Do I wonder, wait, is, is that the a- drone following where the dog goes or... Or is the drone sort of leading the dog no, it looks in like a the certain dog's in front. direction? It looks like the dog's in front. Yeah, but like, do you think this guy's not really, he's just outside doing it? I think this is a two kilometer range. Oh, no, five kilometer yeah, range. But like, I'm pretty sure if the dog wanted to run away, it could pull the drone. Yeah. Unless you lift it off the ground. The dog. No, yeah. I don't think a drone can do, <laughs> I don't think the drone's powerful enough to do that. No? Yeah. Oh. So. I think this is just like a stunt where the guy's actually just outside. Yeah, hang on a sec. Like, who's taking you... the Who's taking the picture? Is he taking the picture? Yeah, because we're camera. <laughs> hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is in Cyprus. Yeah, but I wonder. Um, 
if the dog's just real content and just is like la 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 anyway, so he wouldn't try to run away. Mm. Like he, he's caught up his neighbor. Hey, God! <laughs> <laughs> Take video of my dog walking with the drone. And no, what if other dogs start jo- joining him on his oh, pack and become okay, the pack horse? <laughs> <laughs> What's the Gary version? Oh, so- in Cyprus. Oh, I just did it. Kind of Nikos, man. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> like, 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 I, 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 I couldn't pick two more common Greek names for you uh, not to have figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man wait look they're testing drivers drivers driving well they're not driving anyways back to the yeah, back to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. the dog the, 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 the um the alcohol testing him Make so sure it's, it's got like... a camera on the drone obviously so the guy's either at home and the drone's behind the dog so you can see where the dog's going and then he steers the dro- like he steers the drone yeah in that sort yeah, of but the problem is this right hmm. the drug dog can obviously Run and take the drone of it, mm. and the drone will be on the floor going click, 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 <laughs> 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 click, 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 click. <laughs> right. So, 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 I think Nikos is basically around the other side where you can't see him, mm. and Con's got the camera going. I love doggy, doggy. <laughs> what What I love about this, what I love about this, with the restrictions of the uh, the virus, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, is it in Italy or in Spain where they're having outdoor um uh. No, Exercise, no, rooftop, rooftop PTs. as well, but like um, EDM, I guess. EDM and that, it's like, EDM. What? like they're having like full festivals on the on the on balconies. Their balconies. Like there's that, a DJ going. That, that could be Spain. Really? Is it Spain? Yeah. I've seen the Spanish opera lady singing from her balcony. Yes, and you saw the Spanish people closing their balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite interesting. I think it's quite um, um, it's it's I I like. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm mixed feelings about this stuff. This, oh, um, but okay. it's. I like seeing st- the people taking like making a bad situation into. I f- I think, yeah, I that's think, nice. I think into, you've got no choice in the situation. But that's yeah. yeah. Like, like, right. what else can we do besides that? Trying to find the positive. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. If you, I mean, we true. can find we, the negative a, in the negative. A, it's always Facebook easy to find the negative. Apparently, it was really big in. We had a Facebook group in Oslo, which was like an event to say. At this time, I think it was six o'clock last Friday or something. Everyone's going to go on their balcony and clap for the, like, the paramedics and stuff. Oh, that's I've I was, seen that happen. I was as taking well. a nap, but I, I woke up to one <laughs> one person next door clapping. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <on their own. laughs> Wait, so it's just one person <laughs> in our area. There's just one person. Wait, were they also <laughs> shouting "Woohoo, yay, paramedics and medical staff"? <laughs> Woohoo! Maxi got out and he goes, was "Can it you just shut a- up? They're trying to sleep." <laughs> or was it just the clap by itself? <laughs> we finally got a day off. I want to have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a nap. <laughs> um, you, your stupid clapping, god damn it! Do you have um, <laughs> Do you have Earth Hour in Norway, Maxi? Earth Hour. I think Earth hour. that's what that's global, isn't it? Is that when you turn everything off for yeah. an hour? No, not that I know of. Anyway, not that I've been a part. Mustn't be global then. Yeah. Hmm. But, but, but this year they're still gonna do it, Jig. I think they're still gonna do it this year. I was, jo- I was yawning and saying it at the same time. <laughs> You're well, making me yawn. The the posters are up. I don't think they will because I heard pollution rates has gone down since of the coronavirus. <laughs> it has in China. It, did you see the, how it cleared? Well, the they smog can actually like cleared. themselves now about smog. Yeah, the smog what's, the, like... what's the place? Oh, Venice. They said Venice, the canals are clean. Yeah. They can see the water. Like the water is so clean and now. Fish are coming back. Yeah, because there's no boats in there now. There's no boat pollution or whatever. It's, you can, it's so clear. You can actually swim. So this just proves... That that we, the, we are the disease. We're the virus, <laughs> not the corona. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the earth telling us, slow down, mother. So you, slow you're down. You're suggesting corona is like the vaccine. The vaccine, the antidote, yeah. And we're oh. the virus. When you mother, look at, look mother at it from earth, earth is like, yeah. Perspective. Wow. Ooh. What is that Mark Warburg movie? Where they, Ma- Ted, Ted 1, nah, Ted 2. When the earth releases a virus <laughs> through the trees. Ted 3. To, to bring the population. What? <laughs> Wait, is this oh, a yeah, new one? The, is it when the plant starts to yes. in some chemical that makes humans go crazy and kill and each die, other yeah. and kill Wait, themselves? Yeah. Is this a new one or old one? No, it's an older movie. Old. Oh my goodness! Is it um Studio Good movie six, Studio Fifty Four? Mm. Which one was it? No, he doesn't bring his penis out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. That's, what, uh, that's all you would care about is his penis, huh? <laughs> Marky Mark, you sick, sick boy. <laughs> I don't even know that movie. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't know. What? About that. It's called the, <laughs> I it's think called if you had happening. a very well behaved dog, going back to the drone. Yeah. 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 I think if you, I see some people walk their dogs without a lead, right? And they just stay next to them and they're yeah. very well behaved. I think it's possible. The only thing is, obviously, if you go too far from your house and then another dog yeah. tries to come up and lick your dog's ass. Yeah. There's not much a drone can do. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, rather than pull rather than pull your dog away, I guess the solution would be trying to attack the other dog with the drone With itself. the drone. Yeah, because you're controlling it. So you go, hey, hey, and like attack it with the drone. No, no. You connect, you, connect, you connect a bottle of water to it as well and you spray. No. Oh, oh yeah. Cause you, can you put sound through it as well? Like, could you, is there no, like. No, not, not that drone. Not mm. that drone. Because you could I mean, just. But you could, could if you wanted uh, to, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe you can put a walkie talkie on it actually. Yeah, and say, hey. Away. Step away. From well, it would be called a, a fly talkie, wouldn't it? Fly. <laughs> fly. <laughs> yes, it fly would. Wiry. Yes, it would. Fly wiry. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's pretty when cool. When did the walkie talkie become anything else? Mm. Runny talkie? I, I tell you what, though, I loved walkie talkies so much when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, I thought they were incredible. The and I actually thought, why, why have phones when you have walkie talkies? I know. Well, in the movies, because like the neighbor has a walkie talkie and then that kid has a walkie talkie and they like at night, they're like, see you. Is there a specific movie you're talking and about? And they're like, good night, Doug. And <laughs> what, what crappy movies are you watching? Or they're like, I think, I think Big was like that. <laughs> or they're Big, like, Tom let's Hanks. meet at like <laughs> whatever time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's all the American movies, you know, the good old ones. <laughs> Because me and my friends had had some, and they went like a hundred meter distance. So we'd sit like on the other side of the park. Perfect for co- coronavirus times, but <laughs> back then it didn't matter. The walkie talkie. Sit on the other side of the park and talk, and we just like if we can get one that goes, and they existed like ten kilometers or something. Oh my god! We can just chat all the time when we wanted to, but then yeah. the downfall obviously is someone can jump in on your conversation if they have your uh, your frequency. They get on the same frequency. Yeah. <laughs> You're just talking about that, uh, you know the CB morning. radios that you got in the car, so the stronger walkie-talkies? My, my mate's nickname was um, Vasojar. So every time he'd come, I guess, Vasojar coming in. <laughs> it used to be horrible. What? Vasojar? <laughs> Vasojar. So, Vaseline. Vaseline jar. But people used to have their like um, their yeah. nicknames, you I, know? I'd call myself never, never Pull Out. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> See? Never put out <laughs> Emma's <Yeah>. face. <laughs> if anyone listening to Emma's face, is an absolute picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> never <laughs> Do you or mean like in a fight, right? You mean like you never back down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my one's so boring. I want to be like Emma L. <laughs> yeah, no. Emma L so coming boring. in. Because it there'll be heaps of people. Like you go sticky stick. You know what I mean? There'll sticky be, stick coming yeah. in. <laughs> it's, it's like a memorable, uh, rememberable name. What would be your hacker's name? We've said this already. Really? Uh, yeah. Have we? Yeah. Is sure? it the last thing you ate and the color of your t-shirt or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, okay. What would it be then? Remember CJ's hacker's name? <laughs> Big black guy? <laughs> Remember that was your... Mine would be your... chicken black. What? <laughs> That's my hacker's name. Chicken Black. The last thing I ate and the color of my t-shirt. Chicken Black. No, that's not. That's, that's my hacker's just, name, Deb. <laughs> Maxi just made that up. I know. I'm oh. saying if it was that, yeah. what would it be? If I said that because I want to throw him off the scent. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be looking for a big black guy in a short uh, middle, um, um, Mediterranean. With chicken through. legs. What? Well, I might be Spam Black. <laughs> you had Spam? People used to eat Spam? Yeah. That's a, that's a thing. I mean, like how bad the corona? And how, it's how bad coronavirus got over there? Salami the- sandwich <laughs> green. <laughs> Honestly, you know, like spam. growing up, growing up in England, spam was like spam. Like what? But in their culture, they love. You know it. why? The you know, what? I just I just found out why. Because during the war time, the Americans threw spam in Hawaii and in the Philippines. Yeah, threw it. Threw they, it. Like the plane. The, yeah, yeah. 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 I Get away spam from us, people. War times, basically. <laughs> hey, what was that, Maxi? I, but like I associate when I think about spam, I know people do eat it, but I associate it more with like that's what you buy in a war to keep in your uh, yeah yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's five dollars fifty for a, for like a little look in tin. Hawaii. Look in Hawaii and what? look at the, the different yeah. kind of spams there are. Okay. Um, now, now, look oh, at them. now, yeah, have a look. Why now? <laughs> what do you mean different but, types oh, of spam? Oh, are we sponsored by spam? <laughs> Honestly, we have it always in the cupboard because it's nice for breakfast with rice. I can't stand spam. Spam and rice. 
It's outside. I don't know. That, I don't that, know if Jamie that, Oliver. That doesn't hit any stereo- a stereotype at all. Spam and rice. No, Spice. it's actually delicious. Spam I'd never had it until I met Dev, but now it, it's yummy. It's yummy. And I, I just assumed it was super cheap as well, though. No, five dollars fifty. Yeah, for like one. But you're getting small that top can. quality spam, aren't you? <laughs> no. Not so either. look in in um in the Hawaii, they have turkey spam, hot and spicy spam, Portuguese sausage spam, spam with cheese, spam with hickory smoke smoke, uh, bacon spam, <laughs> garlic smoke. spam, hickory smoke smoke, ter- teriyaki spam, chorizo oh, wow. spam, black pepper spam, jalapeno spam, and tocino spam. I like how they do their spam there. That looks nice. Okay, okay. What what is the definition of spam? I think it's just like anything this one here that you good. don't put in the butcher. <laughs> so whatever you don't see, <laughs> you what, know all the awful? shit that they yeah, all the shit that they cut off and put to the side <laughs> into the bin, they go spam, <laughs> and they chuck it in. The bin no, I and don't they create think it shit is. out of Let's it. Let's have a look. Well, I'm, I'm, I bet you it's the leftovers. Yeah, I bet you it is. It's the leftovers of... Actually, I don't know That's why I, I don't understand look, why don't it's expensive there. You must have such a high demand for spam. Oh, no, it's all not. of a sudden it's the leftovers just... are now worth more than the real thing. <laughs> it's <laughs> just pork it's like... with ham meat added, salt, water, potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrate. Like I said, that's everything that's in the bin. Oh, it's, just, it's just that. <laughs> it's just pork. <laughs> pork with ham meat. Like, that, that, like the girls putting it together and goes, Spam! <laughs> Spam! <laughs> <laughs> no, it is nice though. I can't, I can't knock the spam. I used to knock yeah. it before I. He, he wanted to say wham, but as a speech impediment, it's yeah. spam. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. But doesn't spam stand for something though? I'm just seeing why is it called spam? This is says. I don't know. Oh no, why is it called spam mail? The phrase spam mail <laughs> was inspired by the 1970 Monty Python sketch in which the canned meat is portrayed as ubiquitous and inescapable, kind of like the gajillion emails J. Crew sends us each day. I don't know what this means, but that's why spam mail is called spam. Well, that's cool. Ooh. That's a good fact. It was a pretty good Emma Facts. Emma Facts. Oh, apparently spam apparently is s- less mysterious yeah, than hot dogs. So there you go. Oh, there you go. What? Yeah. No, hot I dogs thought spam are... stand, oh, stands dogs for spiced up. ham. What was that, Maxine? What? I thought spam stood for spiced ham. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. No, I told you what happened. The guy had a speech impediment and wanted to say wham. Oh, he put this new product together. Oh. It's a spam. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're arguing for. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> That's the fact. <laughs> oh yeah, I want some now. Look at that. Oh, can you With go some to some fried eggs on it? We'll have some after we finish the podcast. Let's get to the next <laughs> article. Okay, so following on, right? Just a quick one. Yeah. I saw this article where this guy in America Mm -hmm. is stuck with 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer plus masks. 17,000? Yep. Thousand. Thousand, right? And nothing to do with them. He can't do anything with them now because he went and literally drove from state to state and was buying. Who's going to every supermarket and clearing the shelves, him and his friend, and just shoving it all in his ute and then selling it. And he was making a killing on Amazon and eBay and or eBay. Um, And then Amazon and eBay have now shut down those those sellers that were like marking their prices up. Yeah. And literally all all of their accounts got shut down and he's stuck with all this produce, produce, with all these bottles that he can't shift. Yeah. What an idiot. What an idiot. What a dickhead. Yeah. There are people who generally need, need those products. Yeah. And he's being selfish and taking them all. Yeah. Mm. And now he has, and now he can't even sell them. I hope he goes broke. Mm. He was like, well, this would have made, you know, this would have, you know, been a massive impact for myself and my family financially by selling these. Well, he, he, he could have caused someone a massive impact in dying mm. I know. by buying them all. Mm. I know. And he's just stood there in front of his garage loaded with these products. Maybe he should give them away to charity to to make up for his stupidity. 
Yeah, you should give him away. But I wonder how much he spent. How, how about if he just um, sells it for the price that he bought it? So he gets no, his no, money back. I don't even think he deserves to get his they money back. They shut his accounts down. He deserves <sighs> to get a loss. I, Look, I, I, for being a dickhead. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see what you're I saying. I think dickhead is a more accurate word than an idiot here. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Because there are people who generally need those products. No, I agree. For their survival. I get that. I and get he, that. He's just being selfish. Yeah, but he, then if he sells it for the same price, like. Nah, he doesn't he just, deserve to even get his money back. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying what to come up with what were the products? I missed what products. Hand you said. sanitizer. So he got hand sanitizer. Um, hand sanitizer, thousands of packs of antibacterial wipes. Um, they went to all these little hole in the wall dollar type stores and and cleared all those ones out. Um, they drove through. Uh, they did a thirteen hundred mile road trip across Tennessee into Kentucky, filled their U-Haul. I, I tell you why. I tell He's you got why. Masks. As an entrepreneur, like uh, like entrepreneurs, do this all the time. Mm-hmm. They see a gap in the market and they. There's no gap. He created the gap by buying it all. He yeah. was selling them for between eight and that's like, seventy dollars like each. That's like going around neighborhoods, smashing windows, and then coming down the next day and saying, "Hey, I sell windows." Is it, it, wait, wait, wait. Is it? Yes. Is yeah. it like that? It's, no, like it's looking. It's not for a gap in the market because it's all about supply and demand, right? If you destroy the supply, then you you create a demand. Not cre- no, yeah, but there's there's a, there's going to be a set demand. Going to be a demand, and there was a supply that was raising up to meet that demand. Then he destroyed the supply yeah. in that area mm. and then just took, and then he would like, monopolize the market. Uh, that uh, does actually technically happen, but it's yeah. still bad. Like, it's yeah, oh, not no, I'm not saying that. It's not, I'm not okay. saying it's not bad, but I'm saying this is what businesses do. No, but he's using a very bad situation. I people, understand. I get that. Where people's lives are at risk. Yeah. So I get, now, no, no, basically. Siege, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying businesses do this daily. They do this to the like small small competitors. They drive them out of um, business and stuff. Did yeah. you hear that Germany are developing a corona vaccination or some sort of medication and America offered to buy it from them for $1 billion to get exclusive rights? Yeah, well, America's like, Trump's like, we're, we've got something amazing here. We're developing the vaccine. We've, cut, we've slashed all the red tape. All the red tape's been slashed. We need this stuff fast. That's a horrible Trump album. Isn't that crazy though? That wasn't no, like The American said to Germany, Trump we'll buy. give you a billion dollars for you not to give this medicine to anyone else and only to us. Now, do you know why he said that probably? Is that what, oh, you mean as in like exclusive rights just to use in the States? Yeah, they want to have it. Like then they're asking Germany not to sell it to anyone but America. So they want, the US he, want to give oh, Germany sorry. a billion dollars. He probably wants to say to we take, developed it. That's why it's I back. thought you meant um to sort of buy them out and then they so that company no, that made well, the vaccine i don't know what theirs. they want to do afterwards but they want the idea is that the americans will be first priority with this drug <gasps> that's bad that's crazy that's crazy so what did germany say and germany germany responded quite aggressively saying that lives of our people and people of the world aren't for sale something, like, something along those lines good no. on them good old good germany on. Good old Germany. They tried to kill the planet a couple of times, but this time they did the right thing. <laughs> Good old Germany. It, it's funny when you don't have a little bit of right right right. hey, the right right thing. <laughs> <laughs> when you shave that off, when yeah. you shave it off, see, you become see, a good person. See this here? Dickhead. <laughs> when it's gone, beautiful people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. So yeah. Anyway, this guy douche, uh, don't yeah, douche <laughs> doesn't can't sell them. And then meanwhile, so basically, the digital shelves are all empty now, and the physical because of people like this. They reckon there's thousands of people that have done this, basically. Yeah, they, they should have to keep them and mm. lose their money. Mm. Just teach them a lesson. Meanwhile, the hospitals are rationing masks yeah. and hand sanitizer. Ha, uh, have you seen the? Uh, have you seen the increase of people putting masks on, Maxi? Oh, yeah. uh, on their faces? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, why? Why? Are you considering it? I was considering one of the fancy masks. You know, the ones that are like... Um, <laughs> so, so you just want to be stylish? Yeah. <laughs> you just got into the trend, huh? <laughs> More to combat, you know what I mean? I did see these cu- <laughs> this couple in their 20s and they were like all dressed to the nines and they had these fancy... <laughs> yeah, Like man. fancy... Both of them, they had like... It was like, all right, let's go rock these type things. Yeah. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, what's his name? Um, Sub-Zero. Some zero one, just for, and you can just replaceable canisters. Hmm. This is sick. How much are they? Uh, very expensive. 
they they were probably cheap before, but because of this, the the demand. Because of that dickhead, they're expensive. <laughs> I think it's pretty expensive. <laughs> He's got like forty of them in the back of his corner. What the Mortal Kombat yeah, ones? The Mortal Kombat ones. <laughs> he was like, I know some people want these. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Someone. Maybe, maybe you can buy some parking ranger masks. <laughs> 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 I reckon, I reckon he has the look of a parking ranger. This guy, yeah, like he's been yelled like, at a lot in his life. <laughs> he's wearing a t-shirt. Can we see the person? Says, I've not looked on. Yeah, the it's on the article, article at the top. It says family man, family business on yeah, his t-shirt. Yeah, family man. Okay, Wait, part no of his family. part of his stock is Nerf guns. Yeah, that's to protect the <laughs> items that he's that he's hoarded. <laughs> and five nights at Freddy's. What's that? <laughs> That's lube. <laughs> my my oh, my my hands um gone so dry from washing yeah. it so much. Yeah. Mine have too. I'm just like I'm like washing and like at work it says it's you like soap for twenty seconds and I'm like oh man but, but, <laughs> but my so hands dry. have never been cleaner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I could actually eat with these hands. <laughs> you could actually you eat can with actually them. eat with them. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness yeah. You know Oh anyway. Talking about cleanliness So you know how last week We talked about Not last week Probably People a couple of weeks ago And um, <laughs> we said that Because of the toilet paper drama Right um, And we said that It'd probably be cleaner To wash it with water Or bidets mm. Or with the, like a tabo Like with a bowl and stuff And Alexander like rebuttaled and said I don't know about you But when I wipe I really make it clean like I really wipe so my ass is clean. Do you remember this Why conversation? Why are we bringing this up again? Because so I want. Okay, I, just at, curiosity. Is he like? <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. But I, my rebuttal to him, if you're listening, Alexander, if someone shit on your arm, would you just wipe it with the toilet paper and go, "That's clean," or would you use water to wash it off your arm? I think you thought of this at night. Mm. It went. Bing! I did. I went bang. I go. No, you'd use water. Did you water. write it down on a piece of paper? Yeah. <laughs> I go. You would use water to clean the shit off your arm. You wouldn't wipe it with the toilet paper and go. Oh, that's clean now. <laughs> you wouldn't. This is true. But fair point. I, I like to use like Very wet good wipes. Point. I use toilet paper and wet wipes, a mixture. So, but where do you Ooh. put the wet wipes? Because they can't go down the toilet. No, they're wet wipes. They're so wet you wipes. They can. can. You can so put you it down. Those ones. Yeah. Yeah. I buy those ones. Oh, that's that's our t- um, one minute warning. So, Alexander, I'll be waiting for your response. On the next podcast. So personally, like, I use a combination of both. Yeah. If I had a bidet, I'd probably use that as well. <laughs> Tell me more, CJ. Tell me more. <laughs> well, when I'm cl- when I'm cleaning my bottom. <laughs> this week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. My eardrums nearly oh, burst. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome back, Siege. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That was one of my bit of ones. Okay. This fact isn't going to be a question because I don't know how to make it a question, but okay. the fact is... You won't make it a question by asking a shut- question. That's a fact. Shuttlecocks <laughs> used yeah. in professional badminton yeah. are made of feathers from the left wing of a goose. What? Why? Because the feathers wing? from the right wing will make them spin the wrong way. What? What? Is that really a fact? That is really a fact. But I like okay. Just for curiosity, can you just spin the feather around? <laughs> from yeah, the right like wing? turn it up upside down. Yeah. No, then it's facing the wrong way. Yeah, but it still will spin the right way. Which is the no, whole. It won't. This is the most wait, bizarre wait, wait. thing I in the world. I've got a question for you. Does it matter what hemisphere you're in? <laughs> oh, I was going to say with the water going down the <laughs> wrong that, way. Is that, is that not a thing? <laughs> is that not a thing? So, okay, okay. Just for curiosity, you think the left-hand side of a bird on the southern hemisphere is different from southern. the... Southern? S- southern hemisphere. <laughs> All right. Is different from the northern hemisphere? Yes. Wouldn't it just be the same thing, like left-hand side? No. So what you're saying is my left because arm because it's on its body. My yeah. left arm is the same on the sa- southern hemisphere. Oh yeah. <laughs> and no. it's the same in the northern hemisphere. He got you. He got you. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about the rotation. My arm rotates the exact same way in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> yeah, I know yours. And, and in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> this is the 
weirdest <laughs> fact. And where are they getting these feathers from, from the geese? So hold on. There's a bunch of like geese or birds running around with no feathers on one side, but feathers <laughs> fully feathered on the other. Flourishing. Just, just one side. <laughs> so like he meets a girl, he goes, oh, let's take a picture from the right. <laughs> 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 it's my good side. <laughs> Why? Look at this! <laughs> Miguel did this to me! <laughs> oh, you God. bastardo! Why? Why? <laughs> why, are the, why are the geese <laughs> in Spain or Mexico? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Wait, but this is the most bizarre thing in the entire world I think I've heard. Really? Yeah. That's just weird. It has... Uh, a prof- the shuttercocks are used in like professional badminton. They have 16 goof feathers. It sits on a stump of Portuguese cork and flies up to 300 miles per hour, which makes the Babington Shuttercock one of the most, one of the more curious pieces of sport equipment to be found anywhere. You're probably right about that. Yes, you're probably right. By by like sort of the next step in logic, does that mean that when you buy like a pillow with goose feathers in, you're more likely to have right-winged feathers then you are left. They're all so, oh. What you're saying is they're giving us Nazi pillows. Right wing? No. Oh. <laughs> so I reckon the average pillow you throw would spin in whatever direction a right wing would spin. Can, can we test okay. that out? There's another. This, sorry to put a downer. Can we test that out? Pass me a pillow Friday, yeah? No. Let's see if it goes through. We don't know if it's got geese, geese feathers. Anyway. Oh, it to be fine. Sorry to put a downer, but right. I just read one where it said they're plucked from live ducks or geese and it causes them a lot of pain. Yes, of course yeah, but, they would. But, but, but me getting wax causes me a lot of pain. Yeah. I still do it. You poor hair. They don't want, they're not saying, oh, I've got a loose feather. I'll pluck it out. Does the feathers grow back? The, the pain of plucking it. It's the feather. You know how big those things are no at no. the end of a feather <laughs> no i don't have feathers i don't know how big they are you could write with them with a quill that's how thick they are <laughs> oh they were a quill weren't they <laughs> yes i bet you they'll pluck out a live geese as well <laughs> but also another interesting fact to add on to max's max fact sorry max this is max fact and she's just <laughs> taking over <laughs> but tell me this this is a question where did badminton originate china wasn't it uk and I can't see that far from my glasses. Wrong, so wrong. You're fine. That's safe. Maxi? <laughs> India. India. Is it? Yeah. You're right. Did well, you just guess that? Well, well when he yeah. said China and I said England, that kind of took away two countries. Yeah, but... He only had 150 more to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> All right? 150? <laughs> All right, so we helped him out a lot by narrowing the field. 100%. All right? 100% so correct. I, I reckon me and you should be... You should be thanking us <laughs> <laughs> for eliminating countries for him. What you said you're, is 100% you're correct. You're welcome, Maxie. You're welcome. <laughs> oh but you in I'll saying that, it. the first rules of the game were written in Pune by the British in 1873. <laughs> Say what by now? English, I can't laugh at a language. <laughs> by English army officers. <laughs> yeah. Pune. Okay, could you imagine like being stationed there, being an English officer? Where are you? I'm a Puma. That must be cool. <laughs> what are you talking about? And so, but so then the English like brought it back to England, I guess. And the then poop? the nations that took it most seriously were China, Korea, and India. Oh, the nations that take it most seriously. To be honest, I couldn't have told you today the nations that took it the most seriously. So you could have said any country and it wouldn't have been very surprising or where badminton came from. Mm. Wait, in China, me, goose feathers are used, but in India, white ducks are used. Oh. White duck feathers. Wait, in China? Mm. Do you know why? What's the difference between a white duck and a goose? Um, a white duck, know. you put it in a nice sauce, right? <laughs> like if, if, if you fry the breast meat of a white duck <laughs> and then you cook your chips with the duck fat, it's exquisite. <laughs> oh. A goose, I'm not too sure. Makes oh my a lot of goodness, sense. Makes each feather sense. plucking causes unbearable pain more than if you had your hair pulled out in clumps. Aww. Now, how do you know it causes unbearable pain? Are the, ducks, the... are the ducks saying, ow, that's unbearable? Yes, probably. <laughs> and they're ha- just held down by handlers while someone else... Well, plucks. well, last time I got my chest waxed... And it bleeds awfully. Okay. Oh, I don't like playing badminton now. Okay, last time, last time I got my chest waxed, I bled... I bled. Another girl had How to come in the room to hold me. Waxed? <laughs> yes, I'm hairy like animal. <laughs> 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 Do you go to a professional to get your chest waxed? Yes. 
Does that mean you can't get your chest waxed now because of the corona? Yes, I know. But since then, I've got lasered because I got sick of getting my chest waxed. Oh, how many sessions? I've got quite a few, actually. Six? (laughs) More? (laughs) Mate, it took a little more than six to get this this monkey boy down. Wait, did it work? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. (laughs) No, I don't want to see, mate. I don't want to (laughs) see... Now you got a smooth back. <laughs> Have you got a smooth back? Yeah. I don't know Top, why I tops asked of that. Your shoulders? I don't know. Thank you, Maxi, for asking that question. I don't know why I asked that. Tops of your shoulders? Yeah, some as well. Did you have hair before? Uh, yeah. I'm down to my bottom, then it's like a rainforest. <laughs> 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 it's like smooth, smooth, smooth Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awful image. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah. I'm never going to unsee that. That's horrible. See? <laughs> <laughs> Look like we wear a pair of woolly trousers. All the time. <laughs> I look like half man, half goat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just two hooves away from featuring on Lord of the Rings or something. (laughs) (laughs) Have you guys missed me? (laughs) (laughs) It was missing something. No, I don't know what it was. (laughs) The CJ effect. Oh, goodness gracious. Thanks, Max, for your Max facts. Oh, man. Oh, (laughs) man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, you're missing his twos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sage, you killed me. <laughs> uh, what is it? Desert and <laughs> And below is the Amazon. <laughs> Except for the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is an oasis. <laughs> And one palm tree. Oh my <laughs> With no <God. three> leaves. <laughs> oh and the lawn's been mowed. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.